All right, guys, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna do a review of the hand from Hustler Casino Live between West Side Wesley, my favorite character. Some people think he's a bit too cocky, but I like him. This is the hand after the big scandal with Robbie and um, Garrett. I'm not gonna give my opinion, it doesn't matter. So let's jump to a hand. It's played between Wesley and some tournament player, probably a Duck Paul friend. He's promoting his. Um, card room in Texas but let's just get into it we're gonna use um, GTO wizard as I have it here prepared sneak peek um, I'm gonna give you my opinion about the hand I try to pick up some good hand that we can actually like review in the solver which is played only heads up and also I will give my opinion how the hand was played I, I saw this hand I thought about a bit about this hand so hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, what else? We can just get into the action. I really like. Okay, so we are playing eight-handed, right? Um, uh, there is no good game in Dubai. So now we don't need to have sound. Wesley opens actually from UTG. To 500. Um, there is not any like interesting commentary, so not interesting call. And now Keto rate three bets to 2k, really standard. They're like 250 big base deep. Wesley buying for one million, <laughs> crazy guy. Now he picks up the four bet. <clears throat> And now, interesting decision with uh, Gatorade. I don't know how the session was played here. Obviously, Queens, UTG in G2 is mostly a call. Um, but, I mean, uh, this game is probably really splashy. And this is a like, crazy good hand to do it. So I we probably was this 4-betting uh, pure. And now, Ace-King suited... <laughs> Actually, Wesley is a kind of a guy that don't get much out of the land. Oh, so the game is 100, 200, and 200 big blinds empty. All right. It's a little bit bigger, obviously. <clears throat> and he decides to click it back, which I understand. Yeah, actually, the commentator just saying, Wesley is a solid player. He's not going to forbid you with a shitty hand, so... I don't mind just calling with Ace King and look to the flop. And as the dealer, as the commentator says, <sighs> tournament players like to play pre flop a lot. Yeah, a little bit joke if you have been covered. I would actually be more lean to just call, to be honest. I would really like to call here. Unless we know Wesley is doing some weird shit, which he's actually not doing. Wesley is really solid player. He's after just less than one year playing, he's really good and he's a winner. He won a lot of money in poker, like around two or three millions, which is crazy. So, <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. That's a different story. Um, so, get rate um, five bets to 13,600, and now Wesley has a decision. He looks at his tag. Actually, Gatorade uh, probably is like the best player, like the nittiest player. He has the smallest tag. So Wesley is making a really good assumption that he might not be a good that much. And he just decided to call, which I like. I like both decisions. They're playing more aggro, which is fine. But both of decisions are a bit interesting Wesley putting on the sunglasses 976 crazy bad flop for Ace King really bad Yeah I was about to 
uh, told us Sam, I really would like to see the check back. But you can see how nervous is he. Like, let's check it out back. Um, he seems nervous, this guy. The way he picks up his chips and act overall. Kinda nervous. Small bet. Um, it's fine. But I will just check. Nothing much plays for you here. You even like getting yourself shoved with Wesley as tens, right? If it's check jam for best of it in my opinion. Um, you don't have backdoors, really bad flop for you. Does he ever Wesley has nines? I don't think he ever has six sevens. So um, you're probably getting out of faults from hands like ace queen suited. But Wesley is not gonna pull up with a lot of. 4-bet bluffs that he's gonna call a 5-bet like king jack suited etc so i would just go for a check here and save a little bit of money and just give up on the hand in my opinion that's the best strategy wesley now ask how much he has not much left compared to the pot and flicking a call Six of diamonds, really bad card for a uh, cater rate. He just snap checks back. Now, the thought process here of snap checking back is like, would he not bet with ace of diamonds or king of diamonds? Let's say he has some bluffs, which are ace king of. I would think he would just think about it a little bit more. He just give up for the hand. And I think like if you have ace of diamond, like ace king of or with ace or king of diamonds, I think you like, I think you would continue. So now he's just saying he has nothing in my opinion. Also like ace is kings without a diamond. He's just trying to get the money and he's jamming the turn for sure. So now he's saying he has nothing. And the check of diamonds. Now he knows there is no way to win. What's the snap checks? And spoiler alert, spoiler alert, he went for a bluff. And again, like really weird, like bit not really confessing. And yeah, one for like small bluff. And the question is here if Wesley is folding like. I don't know, dance. What actually is folding? Jack's got their tens. Let's say like the. Okay, so Wesley can have ace king of clubs, probably. Maybe some ace queens of clubs that is folding out. But. The hands we are talking that Wesley can fold. So I don't think Wesley has ever um, actually could have. So we might fold actually queens without, uh, let's say, two black queens. Which is not that bad, actually, on hindsight. Um, but yeah, let's play the hound out with commentary. But again, what he's saying, he has. I don't know if like queens, two black queens, would not consider calling, you know. And also, Wesley have really high frequency checks here. So we. <laughs> cool. Now we'll listen to the commentary. Gateway seemed a little bit out of sorts that entire hand. I think. Every poker player can relate to that. Just sometimes we're not comfortable for one reason or another. Maybe. Best lap call. Thanks, Wes, for the recap. Bad snap call. Never fault. Never fault. Okay, 
Never fold. <laughs> this kid is confident. Yeah. yeah. Have a, have a run the runner flash. Run the runner flash. So I checked some solutions. Um, let's start again. Let's do it from. So here in GTO Wizard we have um, everything, kinda to be honest. Um, but this is like how it should be. But we don't have straddle on this end. So I'm gonna just do also nine max. Doesn't make much sense. It's only hundred BB steep. So let's do it for um, six max. People are they are two hundred BB steep and they are UTG. Whereas this hijack and UTG decides to forbet and hijack. So forbet really small frequency with queens, but we're saying it's fine in this game, much more. Also depends on his um, how often. Oh, we're already watching the hijack. So this UTG forbetting, sorry. Still really small frequency. Um, and this is the range we we're doing pure with aces and kings ace king suited ace king off and then we're starting to call mostly with queens and i think in reality i like to add to this range a queens also and start going with jacks all other pairs and then do the bluffs king queen suited king jack suited king 10 suited ace 5 ace 4 ace 3 everything looks fine so I'll just keep on doing that um, and hijack decides to 5-bet, which we've seen ace-king suited is, let's see, it's range, right, right, right. so here's the 5-betting range for ace-king suited, which is a thing, and UTG decides to call, we need to switch to NL500, my mistake guys, let's do it once again. Grace, also this is the range for hijack. You see so many hands that Wesley is ahead of, obviously, like pretty big range. Actually tight range against UTG Open, but yeah. Also like this guy from the stream was one of the smallest stacks in the game. UTG 4-bet, pretty big sizing, 3x, which Wesley did, and mix. So now preflop they did everything correct and UTG decides to call pure with queens the flop was um, oh I totally get away from the hand it's pretty long stream all right <laughs> my mistake low quality content sorry so right. let's went for the flop nine seven six. I'm pretty sure it was the flop, but just to be sure. So nine seven six, nine of diamonds, seven of diamonds, six of clubs. Uh, and I wonder if Leslie is leading. Yeah, this is kind of a fine spot to lead sometimes, but let's go for a pure check. And as we said. Actually, interesting. Ace King suited is betting pure, but the thing we do here is we only choose big sizing, only big sizing, which is a big mistake on hindsight to choose the small sizing. In real, in the solver, it's not a thing. I thought the same. Like overall, we would really often be. Okay, I can like a little bit switch my camera. To the different angles so you would see guys better right probably this will be the best place to be camera at All right, let's keep it like this. so I immediately thought about this <sighs> Jesus there's actually like so much money in the pot that this is the small sizing yeah so yeah, no, no, I'm saying nothing. So it's a kind of a pure. Um, I wasn't expecting. I, I would just give up with Ace King in this spot, to be honest. But he went for it. Wesley as a decision, and he played it correct. Um, wow. 
Interesting enough that queen is supposed to be fault without the diamond. Wow, really nice play by Wesley. Six of diamonds is a turn. Really nice play. Again, Wesley going for check, I believe. Yeah, sometimes all in, but with kings and aces without a diamond. So that's pretty significant to know. So when we don't have a diamond, um, we just going all in on the turn. Or not all in, but yeah, all in. Yeah. Otherwise, we're checking. And actually, with like the worst hands, like checks and tens, we're going for a we're going for a jam with a diamond. So pretty easy to remember this strategy. Mm. Let's see one for a check, which again he plays this end really correctly. And Ace King suited with a spade is a bet. <laughs> Not much money leaving behind, like 40 BBs left. But it's a bet quite often. Um, interestingly enough so what population does differently um, they give up with these hands and they would bet with diamonds asking suited with diamonds and again here let's look at kings and aces kings good example they gonna they gonna bet with diamond and check without the diamond that's pretty interesting strategy and yeah that's what I'm saying. Let's say as a bluff like Ace King off, he would bet with diamond, and the solver is doing that. And without the diamond, we are uh, checking. Um, so check check, and the river is check of diamonds. And now, what's this decision? And he's jamming. Interesting. Interesting. Dance without a diamond, we are choosing to buff with, and all the other shit we have in our range decides to bluff. Um, and let's see if Ace King is supposed to be bluff. It is. It's supposed to be all in. Maybe that would be better thing to do. Um, so let's say he went all in. So we don't have queens in our range, but if we have, it's a pure call. So they both kind of played it fine, actually. Maybe what I would do differently, not consider check back and like, so he lost like 24k post stop with ace king. I would consider if I was him to just give up with that and not lose that 24k. Let's move the camera again. Oppa. So for sure I would consider that. Mm, what else could we do differently? Um, yeah. Think about bluffing a turn there. That might be a interesting thing to do, to bluff a turn there and to give up on the river. Because like the line doesn't make much sense to be honest. He wanted to, and if he decides to bluff, he has to go all in. I feel like he didn't want to super commit. It's like the worst thing. He wasn't feeling much confident. Yeah, Wesley is just better, better. He is just better. That's the way it is. So yeah, that's everything for this video, guys. Consider um, buying G2 Wizard subscription through my link. I will, you will get 10% off, you will help a bit of me also. Um, I think it's like the best tool to study right now if you want to have like the fundamentals of, of poker and kind of GTO. Hopefully this video is at least a bit good. Hopefully it's not a crap video. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.